Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use Tone Curve using Mobile Lightroom. So, what exactly is Tone Curve? A Tone Curve is a simply a graphical representation of the tonal range of your image. It is represented as a straight diagonal line that you can manipulate to change the tone of your image. The bottom left represents the shadow, the middle represents the midtones, and the top right represents the highlights. In the middle, we have midtones, which are then further split into darker midtones called darks and the brighter midtones called lights. Going from left to right, the curves start with shadows, then darks, lights, and ends with the highlights. The y axis represents lightness of given tones. The tones get darker as you move lower and brighter as you move up the axis. Now, Lightroom has two different curves you can work with. The region curve and the point curve. Now, this one is the region curve. When you are using this curve, Lightroom basically helps you to keep a smooth transition as possible so that you don't ruin your image by accidental distortion of the curve. Now, the point curve. It gives you total freedom to play with the curve. As the name suggests, in the point curve, we can add as many points as we want. If I want to add some contrast to the image, I will simply make the S curve by pulling these points. Now, you can try different styles from this curve. Or, you can make a style of your own. Now, what if you want to play with only highlights? You can do that too, by just making 2-3 points here and adjust the curve. As simple as that. Now, let's create some faded effect with the tone curve. For that, just pull up the shadows a little bit, drop down the highlight and add some contrast by making S curve. Now, if you want to adjust specific color from RGB, yeah, you can do that too by just selecting the red, blue or green channels. Tone curve panel in Lightroom is one of the most often avoided panels because it can be a bit difficult at a look, but as you begin to understand it, you will see that it's not only easy, but it's also very powerful and will allow to change your image in the way that you want. So I hope you understand what exactly is Tone Curve and what all it can do. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Till then, bye.